Hi, I'm Beth Pinsker. I'm the financial planning columnist at MarketWatch. I'm here to talk about how to save for life's biggest milestones. If you're trying to save for a down payment, you want to do it by tricking yourself that the money isn't there. You wanna put it in a separate account, hopefully a high yield savings account, and then let the money grow. You wanna contribute regularly and automatically if you can, meaning that you take money out of your paycheck every month on a regular basis or every two weeks, and you put it in there and you let it ride until you have the amount of money that you're looking for. The good news is that you're gonna get a pretty good savings rate on the money that you're putting in a high yield savings account these days. At the same time, interest rates are high on mortgages. So you have time now to save at a high rate. And then when those savings rates start to come down, mortgage rates will also come down and the money you've saved and the lower mortgage rate will mean you have a better chance of affording the home of your dreams. If you're trying to save for college, you have 17 years or 18 years to do it and you're gonna need all of them. So get started as soon as you can. I know this from experience. I have a 17 year old about to go off to college and I needed every minute of that time in order to do it. I started out small and you don't need any more than $25 to get started. Put $25 away per week, per paycheck, per month, whatever you can do. It'll grow over time and every dollar you save is a dollar you don't have to borrow. And with student loans being what they are today, you want to try to avoid them as much as possible. So if you're able to save for college beforehand, you or your child will thank you down the road by not having to take out as much in loans. Congratulations, you're saving for a wedding. That's fantastic. But the first thing you want to do, unfortunately for many, is the bad word of budgeting. You need to know how much you're willing to spend and how much your target savings goal is before you even get started saving. Then you want to put what you can away regularly and consistently in a high yield savings account. One thing you have to be aware of is that most wedding costs have to be paid up front. So you either want to have the cash on hand already or or you're going to want to take out some kind of reward credit card so at least you get points or miles or cash back after you've spent the money. But be careful because you don't want to get in debt when you're having a wedding. You don't want to start out life that way. So make sure you understand the costs involved and keep yourself aligned to that budget that you set up in the first step. Those rewards points could even help you down the road with your honeymoon. So think of it as a bonus. I hope these tips helped, and if there's anything else that you're saving for or any questions that you have, comment below, and we'll see you next time.